Hello? Hello? Uh, it looks like we're live on Twitch. Okay, we got Twitch. Hello, guys. <clears throat> Zenos J. Dorsey, you too, Nosy. What's up, guys? So bear with us for a minute. We're attempting to do multi-streaming. We're, uh, we're boomers trying to stay relevant. So, uh, you know, we figured streaming to the, to the Twitches, the YouTubes, you know, could be, a, could be a good thing to try. Yeah, we're live on both. Let's go. Yeah, cool. and also Toasty Clips is a great YouTube channel that, um, you know, we kind of slack on at times and uh, are, we, we've been having some trouble like time and time with like audio and uploads and whatnot. And then we're having Jonah edit um, some of our long form um, content, like basically edit the streams. But we were like, you know what? What if we just stream straight to that channel and You're then the VODs up. go up? So we see you guys through Twitch chat right now, but uh, we're on YouTube. So if you guys want to go say hi to YouTube, you can pop up in there. We see both chats. So yeah. if you're from Toasty Clips, hello, welcome. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just going to be fun to have uh, streaming to both. Might as well. It'll probably be, be a while before we see the YouTube logo pop yeah, up. Yeah, I might not see a YouTube logo for a little bit, but we're at least <coughs> live there. So that's an option for you all, for those who hate <laughs> Twitch for whatever reason. <laughs> uh, those people probably aren't even watching right now. So here we for go. those of you who hate freedom. <laughs> hate freedom. But hey, fun build today. Uh, 7700 XT and a 7600 X. It's mm -hmm. going to be fun. You were glitching as I signed on. What do you mean glitching? Like we were going robot we're going mode? Beep, 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 beep. Um, yo, good morning, gents. Modified, hello. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. What's, What's up? Good? What's good? Only weird thing is I think... Um, the VOD auto defaults to this weird thumbnail where it's just like our banner. So like all the thumbnails will just be a picture of our banner for the VODs. No, I mean, so. I'm honestly cool with that. So that's what they'll be. Is it, I yeah. wonder, is there a way to, can you set up auto playlist on YouTube? Like where it filters? I don't know. It'd be cool to have it just, you know, filter into a playlist. YouTube chat is broken for me, brave browser problems. Is the chat actually broken? <laughs> You're using Brave Browser? Why are you using Brave Browser? Oh, never mind. It just started streaming. So, oh, wow. Oh, we see a YouTube. Yo, Orange, Orange tabby. tabby. Let's freaking go. Wait, it's so Orange Tabby. I got to ask. <laughs> are you normally in our Twitch stream, or did you just find us on clips? Or, or like, are we following clips? Colby Brown. Whoa. You guys are completely in sync between Twitch and oh. YouTube. Look at us. We're killing Dude, it's it. It's perfect. Absolutely killing it. I guess I should. Uh, it'd probably be worth me doing this at home, too. Yeah. Free stream time, baby. You know, I wish if we actually used Toasty Bros Gaming, that'd mm -hmm. be a perfect time to do that. To restream. You know? YouTube stream, how about that? I know, right? How yeah, we're doing that? Twitch and YouTube, by the way. This is multi-streaming, so we're not just on Toasty Clips. If you're on Toasty <coughs> Clips, well, you can be on Toasty Clips. You can pick whatever one you want, to be honest. Exactly. But we're on both right now, multi-streaming. Yeah, we're really not, we're not asking anybody to go, because we really like Twitch. It's more of just like, for the people that really don't like Twitch, an audience that we may have been missing out on, now you guys can watch. You know? Orange Tabby's Eisenberg. Okay, I gotcha. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just, uh, I, I figured it'll probably be a while before we see some random new person that's like, hey, I watch Toasty Clips. I didn't know you all streamed here. Are you opening fan mail? I mean, I won't say no to fan mail, <laughs> but I'm kind of scared what you all send us. We've like gotten fan mail before, but we just don't like, you know, you, you can look us up pretty easily. Yeah, if you really want to send us something, just please don't send us like big old dildos or stuff like that. Well, I mean, if you send us those. As long as they're new. They're new. <laughs> Used <laughs> ones. We'll put them in a prop closet. Modified, I don't know how far they have come with those. We did that sponsored video on the Corsair build kits, and we worked with them pretty closely on some of the issues we had with some of the layout, like the instructions and stuff. And it was pretty much like a learning process for them to try to improve on. It. And they took a lot of our advice, but we have not seen what the current version looks like. There was like a little bit of like, issues with some of the structure of it, like step by step, like do this first, then this. And we're like, well, we wouldn't necessarily do it that way. <laughs> um, but we did go over stuff with the Corsair team and um, they yeah. Listened, they listened, I think. They did listen. So, um, you know, those build kits, they, the only, they need to be really beginner friendly. And every single time we do those videos, we use beginners to test them. And sometimes <laughs> when they don't work, then we're like, okay, well maybe they should work on changing this. Yeah, but, I'll, um, be, uh, I'll be honest. That first one definitely yeah. felt very, and I love Corsair. They're great, but that first one was very beta feeling. Yeah. Like, it felt like they were not ready to send it over, and they were like, let's just do it. Yeah. Which I think our rep kind of fully, like, said. I think yeah. he was like, yeah, I really wanted them to do this, that, and this, but, like, they wouldn't listen. <laughs> so, we're, we're working on fixing stuff. Well, that's been a long time, so I'm yeah, assuming it's, there. I would assume it's good pretty good now. now. They're still selling them, too, by the way. I don't know. I haven't looked. 
I have a question. Fierce, what is your question? ATE, what's up? I can see your all's profile pictures now. Yeah, and, and like not only that, just the fact that we can see where they're from, it's pretty dope. Powdered or creamy mac and cheese? What do you mean, um, like? Oh, like the difference of the, the ones that come with the powder pack, probably, where you have like to add like milk and cream? I've always, I mean, the pre made is just easier. Pre made is know? easier, obviously. Uh, I took your girls' advice about photos on Marketplace last night. I always, ha I already have a buyer coming this morning. Ooh, let's go. Let's we go. need, we need some of that good luck for our PC. Yeah, it's like, it's like one of those weird times. I think I'm gonna go ahead and, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna slash the price down 25 bucks. Slash, slash, slash. Because then it adds the Facebook Marketplace does the classic where they, they add yeah. a slash through it. Uh, jumping back to Twitch, nice. I can access Twitch from my workstation PC, so I cannot watch there, but now I can watch you guys on YouTube. Well, there you go. There's, we got one person who normally watches on Twitch can now watch again. We brought back a viewer. Yay. Colby Brown says they're going back to Twitch. We see, there you go. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> but also, good. it's much easier to watch VODs on YouTube, I think, because then it'll push a sub notification and stuff, so. Also, I did notice one thing. Um, I don't really know if it'll make as much money, but when you start a stream, it defaults to not monetize. You have to go into the dashboard and enable it as monetize once you go live. Mm, okay. So, just okay. a note. Uh, Xenos, what's up? You stopped by the YouTube stream? Thank you, thank you. Twitch is home. I don't know, a lot of people like Twitch. We love Twitch, that's why we're here. The Twitch community is a vibe. One might say. Hey Google, play music on Spotify. Loud. <laughs> ah! Louder, louder. See now, I, oh, you know what I do wonder? Are you? Are we playing? Um... I'm not playing any music right now because yeah, I was a bit I was worried about that. It might be a little more risky now, you know. Yes. Y'all can play your own music in the background. <laughs> Uh, I like both YouTube and Twitch, there we go. Golan, what's up? Welcome everybody, welcome. I like tweaking. I like tweaking, tweaking hard. Mm. How many of you, I, it does say we have six people watching on clips right now. How many of you have both open at the same time? I need to know. Where do, oh, that's cool, so 53 and then six. Nice. What do we have less reason or what are y'all doing? Yeah. I'm just playing. It's multi-streaming, it's killing our stream, it's no, killing I think, it. I think we get most of our viewers for some reason towards the end of the streams. Y'all waking up. Ryan said both, I do because I'm that guy. See, look at you all. Yeah, we're doing both Pinky Tech. So we're streaming, not to the main channel, we're streaming to um, Toasty Clips. So we're, we're using streaming Toasty the, Clips now. We're streaming to the main channel, we only have six viewers, that'd be very oh, sad. Oh, PC Bros, this is new. <laughs> that must be a Zach Sheehy. And it, so it must, it must really push notifications well. It does. Yeah, this is the very first day for doing the YouTube stream. We talked about it yesterday. Really and, the uh, first time we've ever done this, right? First time we multi-streamed do... on when we were primarily in here, yes. Yeah, very first time we've done that. I didn't know, because I remember we used to do like the, the hey, we start here, go here. I didn't know if you ever actually, because I, I, I never did. I did multi-streaming a couple times, mm. but it was, it never really did great, because neither, we had no audience on either <laughs> one, so it really <laughs> didn't, didn't really make sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. YouTube comments are a headache sometimes when it comes to budget bills. Don't you love it? Oh, they're they're a headache on anything. Don't it's you not, love it? And, as, and as we continue to grow, they're going to become even more. You, of a you'll headache. love. Uh, I don't know if you heard all the <laughs> the fun comments that I was having to like calm everyone down. Oh, about I yesterday. saw it all yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. One of them was really stupid. One of them was it was on the new H5 Flow. Yes. The person said. Why would you ever tell a beginner to build in this NZXT case? It has horrible airflow. What? And I'm like, huh? You <laughs> about this case that has six fans and even has a fan angled up towards the, like, okay, first of all, and apparently they deleted their comment after okay. we responded. I think they probably were just all NZXT and they thought H510. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. I was yeah. like, they're probably, they built one computer yeah. and now they know everything. And now the next person, I instantly was like, I know who they're a fan of. Um, but yeah. we used a WD SN770 Black, which has like yes. 5150 read and write speed, yeah. super fast Gen 4. And they said, wow, you know, you guys could have spent some extra money and gotten one that has- um, The DRAM cache. DRAM cache. Yeah. And um, so, you know, I finally was like, you know what? I'm gonna research this shit. And yeah. so Tool and I looked it up and like everyone in the forums were like, that is literally just a marketing tactic that was great for hard drives and SSD, mm. uh, SSHDs, mm. but like 
for a Gen 4 SSD with these blazing speeds, having V-Cache like doesn't really do anything. They're like, look at the yeah. benchmarks. That's what's important. Um, so yeah, but isn't D another. I could be wrong, but isn't DRAM cache when the drive starts to fill up and age, that's where it becomes important. Like I, it, honestly, I don't. Maybe it is. All I know yeah. is just it, it was it was Reddit. It yeah, was that, that was one thing that I know about those drives is as they fill up and they get like higher capacity, they tend to start getting sluggish uh, if they don't have a DRAM cache. Yeah, I'm. I, I don't. I don't have a way to to fact check it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I didn't ever really even fact check. It. I use Reddit. So. <laughs> Shout out Reddit. Knows. But but no, yeah, for just, most just people like it doesn't days. matter. It doesn't really matter that much. Well, and, and then they said, uh, and, and you could have gotten a better card, and it was the was it a forty seventy Ti Super or something yeah, like that. I don't understand any I'm of just that like, stuff. Okay, those yeah. people who overthink their builds, they overthink their builds too much. <laughs> I got in a forty ninety. <laughs> did you see my sub, Sean? Did you sub? I don't. I didn't see a sub alert. Did you sub? Oh, you resub. Thank you. Son. Son. Thank it's you, so son. weird seeing people's like, profile, especially when they're like, just their faces. Where's, where's Bruce at? I need to see if he, he needs to do his face. Bruce, are you here? Hello, Bruce. You own a 770 and an 850X. The 850Xs go pretty Those hard. Those are really good drives. Yeah, Western Digital's new drives, they're actually pretty well priced in there. They're good. I like them. Uh, oh, Bru there's Bruce. What is that picture of, Bruce? Is that Darth? I don't think it. Is that someone from Star Wars? I can't tell. I gotta get closer. It looks like our Kylo boomer Ren vision from far away. Oh, isn't that like deep in the Star Wars lore like character? I don't remember mm -hmm. the name of him. <laughs> but you all, you're like a big fan. Oh, General Cock and Balls. Yeah, General Cock and Balls. Should have gotten the Timu GPU. That's true. We should have put the Timu GPU in that build. Mm hmm. The Timu GPU is amazing. People probably would have been less upset. Wow, Timu GPU. Uh, yo, Toasty Rosen Chow, it's a Blicky D. Escobar. We can see Blicky's name <laughs> uh, picture. I'd love to see it. Whoa. Now people could use that for nefarious reasons. Like, I know. It's like as soon as computer guy comes in. It's going to be a, a large piece. Uh, you know, I have, you have a 770 uh, too, but it was when it was on sale. Nice. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm, I know for a fact my Sabrent drive. Oh, yeah. I mean, I say I know for yeah. a fact. I'm, th that drive is about five years old now. It's a 512 gig. It's been like literally in the red like it's full been abused for like years and I, I mean i haven't had like one single i just feel like i'm just like with all these people that say the whole uh v cache and dram and blah 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 i'm like have you actually had issues with ha not having that or did you just hear one person say you need it uh blah, blah, blah. good morning toasty bros the real underpants what's up how you underpants doing? Uh, I replaced my Kingston NV One drive because it actually caused issues playing Avatar. Well, I know those things are like <laughs> yeah, those are pretty slow. <laughs> those things are crazy because they're like Gen Four, but they're like thirty four hundred read and write speed. Yeah, even there, there's some like those newer AAA titles because they all design for PS like PS Five, Xbox One. All those have like really fast Gen Four drives, like exceptionally fast drives. Yeah. So even running Gen Three, you'll actually have some slow load times. You'll feel like you're on a hard drive. It is a really interesting step they made. Like they literally went from like. I mean, they went straight from hard drives to like stupid fast gen yeah. four drives. The orange tabby said you fell for the Stanley Cup trend. Wow. That's not me. <laughs> Actually, this is a tall. That's a tall. I do have a Stanley, but no, I got this one from Walmart. This is uh, a Walmart brand. So you basically took, you know, the, the concept and went for the budget option. That's what you gotta do. I really liked this one mainly because of like the part at the bottom where it actually can fit in a cup holder. That's my biggest complaints about Yetis and a lot of like really nice cups yeah. is they don't fit in anything. 57 50, months. Oh my gosh. You know, we've, we've right made up. that joke and, and slash in all seriousness before where it's like we need like anniversaries with our viewers, yeah. you know? When you take them on Skype dates. <laughs> oh God. Uh, Skype dates. 10 minutes with Toasty Bros. Yeah. Heaven. Yo, for real. We lock you in a Discord channel with us for 10 minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Restream, for saying congrats on receiving 100 messages in today's stream. Thank Aww, you, Restream. We get new rewards? This is dope. <laughs> My wife has a dozen Stanleys if you want one. Picky Tech, that doesn't surprise me. Wedgie, I'm, what's up? I'm trying to think which battle was harder. The battle of getting uh, Twitch to, would it have been part, yeah, partner? Partner. Or the battle of getting... Um, clips like monetized or $25 or whatever it was. I will Twitter. say Twitch probably because, well also Twitch was kind of a surprise because 
Normally with Twitch, you wait for them to invite you, but we basically <laughs> saw we were eligible yeah. and applied and got denied first and then applied again like a, right after the giveaway stream mm -hmm. and then got eligible. So Twitch wasn't actually it was it was a little bit of a little bit of chaos, but it wasn't too bad actually. It's a clips. Yes, yeah, so definitely clips. <laughs> Uh, getting piggy tag monetized was the hardest battle. <laughs> Still working on that. Uh, there's a modified. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know if I would want to buy that for a video. The modified 6500 XT with 8 gigs of VRAM. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Oh, it's PCI by 16? Really? No shot. There's no way that's real. Called P Paladin? <laughs> is this supposed to be like Paladin? Yeah, is, I didn't know if it was, it was by 16. If it's by 16, that would be interesting. So, like, in theory, it has more overall bandwidth, you think? It wouldn't be the PCI 4x4. Four four. It would be by right. 16, so it probably work better in Gen 3 slots. Because it would get oh, the full yeah, I guess, 16. Yeah, I guess that's true, yeah. Be interesting. I wonder if it'd be any better in, like, a in Gen, Gen 4, 4 system as well. I don't know. That, that, I didn't know. If it's by, if it actually by 16, then that's kind of cool. Hmm. Uh, better just saving the headache and get a 6600 if the Mahdi 6500 is not all. Yeah, I, 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 no, I would yeah, agree. I agree. I agree it with better that. be a lot cheaper. No, this isn't any cheaper. It's 165. I wouldn't pay 165 for it. What are the reviews? <laughs> this card is great. All right. Oh, yeah. This is one. The first review instruction manual points to a Chinese website to install drivers. <laughs> oh, I do have one more fan. Oh, we do. Sorry. One Fun more. time. This one was an extra from. Hmm, what was this from? From my build, actually. From my build at home. I had a three pack and all I needed two. <laughs> Piggy Tech said, by the way, thanks for the mic recommendation. I didn't pick it, but I used this comparison. What mic did you up getting? He was, he, he was wanting like a wireless mic yeah, recommendation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones we're using right now. What'd you end up getting? Because I saw you told him to get the new version or yeah. you were, I couldn't tell if you were hinting at like, we'll sell you some of ours for oh, really no, cheap so no. we can get new ones. <laughs> no, I was just like, you can probably get the other ones pretty cheap. I mean, hey, you know, as those opportunities arise where we get another friend like Casey or someone who's like, man, I really could use a set of cheap mics. I'll be like, dude, we have these ones that don't charge well, but like, we'll give them to you for like a hundred bucks so we can buy these new ones. Yeah, you know? exactly. Day 712 of asking for VIP and mod. You want both? They have newer ones? That's cool. Is it like a single mic? That might actually be better for you anyways because you spend a bunch of money to have two mics that you may never use the other one. Look that up. I did a, speaking of that, I did a fun video yesterday, but I need, I, I brought all of my GoPro mounts in thinking like, you know, oh, I'm just not going to use that thing much anymore. Mm -hmm. But then like, I've used it like three times recently and I was doing a video on uh, the Audi and I was like, I want to do like one of those really cool, like I set the, my DJI mic um, on the license plate to like capture the exhaust sound yeah. and then a camera facing the back. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that it's kind of like a immersive deal, but I didn't have a suction cup mount. So I had to like ghetto strap the camera to, <laughs> to the little wing in the back. And it just looked horrible. Here we go. Yeah, see, I need a I need a sucky cup. Wow, Piggy Tech's a bargain hunter. The newer CM28s, they're dual wireless mics for $80. Oh, wow. And it comes with a receiver? Does it come with a receiver, or is it just like you record straight to the, the thing? 80 bucks is kind of nutty. And I was actually looking it up. It is newer, though. I mean, newer. I didn't know newer had a website. <laughs> like, I thought newer was just... Actually, it's kind of a cool case. It looks like, uh, was that Deity that does this color yeah, scheme? Yeah, that looks like Deity's color scheme. They actually look like... He got it on sale for... So it sells for 107 but he got it on sale for 80 bucks. Oh, look, it literally is like a copy. Like, yeah. it has the C, the... I mean, of all lighting. the companies, newer definitely makes some pretty good stuff. Yeah, they're, so. they're solid. Yeah, We've used cool. a lot of newer stuff over the year. We've also used some older stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let us know how those work, Pinky Tech. That would be a cool like DIY video at some yeah. point if we ever needed another cheap set for whatever reason. A disposable set. <laughs> no, no. Set. When we do that, um, no, that's so wasteful. I was gonna say if we do that video, we're talking about oh, destroying a Victus. We need have a mic inside in it. it. <laughs> God, can you imagine how loud it'd be? Mittens, Jackson, how B are you? <laughs> we're, we're good. Oh, he said R. I said BR. I, I'm playing too much Halo. Don't cost enough shows for you. Shut whatever. up. Whatever. Shut up. You Whatever. surprise the things we cheap out on, all right? That is very true. We we spend a lot of money on some things that make no sense, and then little money on. You things don't want to do see our sense. vertical tripod. <laughs> you don't even want to see our normal tripod. <laughs> our normal tripod has hot glue on it, and it needs to be replaced. The only thing is, like, I'm tempted to buy the same one because, no, like, I honestly think you. I, I think you should. Because yeah. this one's been through a lot. It's traveled a lot. Yeah, I want to show you guys. 
I, I have two two goofy things to show you all. So we got this tripod here, which do you see, you see all the glue? And actually, look, the head, it's literally coming off again. It's almost yeah. off. So yeah, that's separating. So you get this it's like really shaky bad. shake. Yeah, I know you guys can't tell much on camera, but then wait, check check this out. This one is so much more ghetto. Oh yeah, here we go. This... I can't believe I oh. got this to work in all honesty. But <laughs> this is a mixture of JB Weld hot glue. So we've dropped this thing multiple times. So this is glued. And then <laughs> this, I made my own like, yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it was bad because basically it was unusable. So both sides are JB welded hot glue. We have, um, what are those things called? PCIe lane covers yep. on it. So yeah, that's our, that's a tells couple of anything, tripods. We bought a new one and that one's sitting on the shelf right now. Well, then I love how we bought it. We have a really nice tripod. Oh yeah, you wanna, see, you wanna see our industrial tripod that's just kind of And that has sitting, nothing on it. It has <laughs> nothing on it. Is that one vertical capable? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. This thing's so freaking. And here's old industrial. Look at this thing. And it's not being used for anything. When Jonah was talking about, you, I was just like, dude, I just, I don't even. It's just too big, man. It's well, a great tripod. Well, it's I was just... saying for main videos, I don't want to use it because it doesn't have the, the like, ability to go up and down in the middle. This is only the ball oh. head. So all you, to adjust every time, you have to adjust <laughs> oh, the legs. I saw Jonah do because uh, I think he was trying to raise yeah. it, and I saw him do it, and I saw the thing, and he was like, wait. Yeah, no, that's why I was like, no, we can't use that, because it like you have to adjust this, and if you want like a specific height, you have to get it like level every single time. Yeah. Hey, great for sliders yeah. and stuff like that, though. Great for sliders, but yeah. Man, when we had the slider in that thing, you didn't even need the little arms in the side. Yeah. Like it, it didn't even move. Toaster was cutting co cost with hot glue to increase margins. Exactly. You know, I wish that was the case too. <laughs> it's not even like we cut costs to like make more money. It's like we cut costs because we're stupid. We're stupid. Where even is the Ronin? Is that like <laughs> underneath there? I think the Ronin's hiding behind. We have the Ronin like underneath some stuff and then we have our seven or $800 slider that we just got. Is that the, I see the bottom oh, wait, of the Ronin. Indy Adams over here? Yeah, see, the, the Ronin is hiding behind the, the smoke machine. We have nothing in DA, right? No. Besides maybe up there. Yeah, uh, I just want you guys to see, like, yeah, Matt, no. show, show him the Ronin. <laughs> so we got fog machine juice. Watch out. Let's just move this computer real quick. Um, and, how, and how much was the Ronin? Like, six? Six hundred dollars. Here it is. <laughs> Shout out to the Ronin, baby. I think McAllister. Oh, it does. Okay, that is there. I, I knew that he stole that for a while, and I was just like, man. Here's the, Ron oh God, the Ronin, which I will say like, it's it's cool, but like we have had no use for it other We've than like that like Master Chief times. video. And we didn't even really need to use it for that. No, we didn't. I think that's the main problem we've realized with the Ronin is like, I think it's cool for like we got to stabilize. The thing is we got to stabilize with that pretty easy. I think it actually, uh, it's probably not charged, but I think it is programmed for that because Joni <laughs> used it when we did a um, office tour. Yeah, and then we got this right here, which that's here. a, uh, is, that, is it Zepon? I think it is? The Zeppin? Zeppin. Um, and that's a like $700 slider that we, that one's the most recent dumb purchase. We bought that like a month ago. And the issue with it do, do, do. is it uh, it doesn't have a swivel head. You have to pay an extra $500 It just for goes it. back and forth. Yeah, but which, it is super cool. Which is super cool, super smooth, and there's like one or two shots that we might use it for, but we have it, so here we go. And then where's the shoulder rig? Is that like in the pieces? shoulder rig? No, remember that got destroyed. Yeah, because... that upset me. That was when we're like, I think Jonah I or actually... someone completely took it apart. Well, I told him I was like, you could modify this a little bit to use it because he was getting. Oh, it's right over here, and because I was like, yeah, the shoulder. If you want something a little bit sturdier, or you're like, you just don't want the shoulder part, because he was getting tired during some of our film sets. So I was like, you could use the shoulder rig for some of them, but now it's like, and, well, and now it doesn't have who the would shoulder. Think that's easier. <laughs> like that weighs so much more than our tiny I'm like, cameras. You need this and like autofocus, yeah. then you just go. At least that thing was only like I think $189. No. Where I is think he, he should use this more for like some sets he's on, like because he's just holding it and I'm like, but whatever. See, when we had manual focus only, or when we only yes. used that, that sucked. But yeah, you have a good point. With auto, it's like who cares? You could just literally hold it and just Are the other more. pieces even over there? Yes. They're all well, that, that's good. they're all okay. down there. So it could be put back together. <laughs> if all the screws are there. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. That was our show and tell. Hope you guys enjoyed. Piggy just said I'll give you $20 for the slider. Piggy Tech, I'll be honest with you, man. If you ever come back here and you see something that you like, <laughs> we would give you a good deal. On yeah, it. please just let us know. <laughs> as long as it's not something we, I mean, you know, I was going to say as long as it's not something we use every day, but then I'm like, well, you know, to be fair, every time we have something that we like, <laughs> we know there's something better. So yeah. if someone will buy it for a good price, we can just buy the better one, you know? Yeah. You want a Ronin? What's, what's your question? <laughs>
Mr. Fierce. He's coming uh, shopping at the next car yeah, show. I like let's that. Let's go. Pinky Tech, would you, would you come to the next show? You think if it's at a good time? Because you're retired now, right? <laughs> Big billionaire YouTuber. And then we have, oh, I forgot to show this. This is our current vertical. <laughs> Which these, by the way, are amazing These are cheap. cheap. Yeah, they're um, Amazon Basics, yeah. but we put like our $2,000 camera on it and we're always yeah, like you gotta, you gotta demo that. Like, okay. I, I, I love watching. There's two points that really scare me on it. You got one camera over there. Let's use the heavier one. Because let's just have it break on stream. The thing that scares me the most isn't the hinge, it's the, the mount. Like where it, it's this. Oh yeah, you see? <laughs> like that's that. I'm, I just kidding, no, that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, because this camera is over $2,000 easy. And we use this to shoot our vertical footage. And um, yeah, there's really not a lot of great tripods out there that do vertical. If I can make it, I'll definitely come by. Harder now, as we have a toddler, we have to find daycare, but sure, um, but maybe the wife will send you a loan. Well, you guys you are doing, are you guys are doing Foster, right? Foster's home for imaginary friends? Yes. My question is crinkly or thin cut fries? Um. I love crinky. Crinky fries crinky, are pretty good. Crinkle. Oh, and you're likely to adopt? That's awesome. Oh, that's sick, dude. Um, but you know what the most goaded fry is? Is curly. Curly fries. I think nice. curly fries are so slept on. For some reason, people don't love them like I do, and I don't get it. LBG said, "Surely that won't randomly drop." Yeah, I know, right? No, there's been times where I'm like getting ready to film something, so I'll set it up, and I'm like, I'm gonna come back to this, and in my mind, I'm like, God, do I really want to be the one that's responsible for this thing falling? And then I and then I put, I take it off. I will say one thing though, and I will forever stand by this, I think, even though we've progressed as a business and we got to the point where creators our size are spending fortunes on like really high end like tripods, lighting and stuff like that. You don't need to buy super expensive like tripods and stuff. Like there's there's part, there's like a, a level when it comes to like camera gear where like there's Amazon basics, which is like just cheap bottom of the barrel. Newer. You get into newer category, <laughs> that's pretty cheap bottom of the barrel, but there is stuff that newer offers that's a little bit more expensive that's actually really solid. Um, it just depends on how much you use stuff. Like again, like we mentioned that tripod, that tripod has been used for years. Um, and that was a hundred bucks, which at the time felt like a lot didn't for we, a tripod. Didn't we buy that when we bought the GH5? I think, or a little bit after that. We bought it when we bought one of the cameras, but it was I'm definitely, like, it was the GH5. It, yeah, it couldn't have been the S2. No, it was the GH5. So that's been like, what, three years at this point? Yeah. So three yeah, years out of that? It's been through a lot. I mean, it's been on vacations and traveling. Yeah. I'm more of a bone-in chicken wing kind of person. Jack has no choice. He has to have cauliflower wings. I have to have a <laughs> boneless. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that, that is a good point because like I was thinking about as soon as you said you don't need to I'm thinking like Linus' studio because that's yeah, a really yeah, yeah. big creator we've seen and I think about like those aperture lights and the setup set I'm like, you know, I imagine some of those sets are probably You know, I mean at the least twenty thousand dollars. Oh, yeah, easily. at the least easily. with some of the sound equipment And then I look at like the production or at least just the video quality mm -hmm. versus ours. I'm like it's it's not like, you start to get yeah. those marginal gains at a certain point. Well, even having just Jonah, who knows how to work a camera more, Made like just the shots difference. have been better and like we haven't had to change any big difference. Yeah, of uh, course, if we had like crazy studio lighting and stuff, it would look better, but like. It's like how, how better? How much better? We're and, still and how much YouTube more here. do the viewers enjoy it? Yeah, we're still watching, we're, we're still YouTube here. Because you know? I think that's another issue when you get into more, I, I think of like, um, uh, this is, it's a weird comparison. Like I used to really love watching, um, it's by Motor Trend, it was called Roadkill. I always wear the hoodies and stuff. Yeah. And they were just on YouTube, it was free to watch. But then as they started to really get a big audience and they started spending more and more money on equipment, they very quickly ended up on their own website with subscription based, where like you literally can't watch on YouTube. And I feel like that's one of the issues you get with spending a lot of money on your production is it also makes to where you kind of want that money back. It is diminishing returns, just like PC building. Once you spend over a certain amount, you go from that 4080 to 4090. <laughs> just, just like PC bros. <laughs> yeah, diminishing like returns. Bros. Diminishing returns, PCbros.tech. Hey guys, we got a sale coming up. Yes, sir. Um, this, this weekend for, for President's Day weekend, which honestly, we didn't, didn't even know the it. correlation. We just wanted to do a sale. So shout out to the president. I think the sale is going to be like P-R-E-S. So Prez, Prez. Uh, 24. Prez 24. And it's going to be fifty dollars off all. Is that what we decided on? Was the fifty dollars off all I think, staples? I think so. Fifty dollars off all our staple builds. 
which is really good, especially mm -hmm. for especially for some of the cheaper ones. Yep, yep. I mean, guys, we're talking negative profit. And keep in mind, the stable builds are already free shipping, so $50 mm -hmm. off that. And that could be, a, I'm just saying, some of our stable builds have upgrade options. So technically, you could probably get same price with an upgrade, so free upgrades. Yep, and that, that'll be like an all weekend sale too. So you got, we're just giving you a warning now. If you have any friends, family, whatever, thinking about it, uh, we haven't done a sale this year yet. It's our nope. first one. First sale, baby. Buy computers. Already planned a uh, best place to buy pre-built so we can get our uh, PC Bros plug. Oh, sweet. Because those videos always do well. And um, last one we did was November. It's been too so long. So we need, we need a 2024 version. Oh my God, dude. Why, Let's get some PC Bros traffic. Uh, let's see, is the 4660i 16 gig worth it? I don't think the 16 gig is worth it. Uh, they did benchmarks that basically showed that the 16 gig was about the same as the 8 gig and there's never really a game that utilizes the 16 gig. I actually ready to do a PC build with the <laughs> 7600 16 gig, which also has had the same conclusion from other people, but yeah. we're gonna test it anyways. Yeah, we got, we got to give our opinion, but I think from the start, it was extremely obvious that was going to be the case. The only reason that card would make sense is if it was $10 more, yep. you know? But it's a decent amount more. Yeah. It's, it's like we always say, guys, there's, there's a reason for everything to exist. It's just, is it the right price? Do they have them in stock? And also, BRM is not, not cheap either, you know? So realistically, it's like in terms of companies just keeping inventory and everything um forcing double the vram isn't isn't the best move i don't think uh, waiting for b550 to come in place wait waiting for the b550 to come in to place this 4500 in nice he's waiting for it to come, come. it's kind of sad too because it almost um i mean i don't really think this is what AMD or NVIDIA necessarily does when they do like these random really high VRAM like lower end cards but it almost just reminds me of the classic like eBay where it's 64 gigs of RAM Xeon yeah gaming big amounts yep. buy because I'm like would that cause someone to choose that 16 gig that fit oh there will that cause someone to choose that 16 gig card over this 12 gig 77 oh, XT boy. that would run circles around it probably like people <sighs> bought the what was it the 3060 with um eight gigs well, they had the, the 12 gig version of the 3060. Oh yeah, well, and, and that's like the original. Yeah, the original one. And uh, people bought that over some, like some of the AMD cards that would actually be less VRAM and better in some cases. That places. is true, yeah. Well, like the 3060 Ti was just confusing because I think yeah. a lot of people were like, well, the 3060 must be better. Like it yeah. has that much more VRAM, but like really it was it was a good amount worse, you know? It was. I remember even I thought, I, I was like, it can't be that much different. Like since it has less different. VRAM. VRAM is uh, even like, if they don't know anything, VRAM is just kind of a number that people see, and it's bigger is better. And it's one of the first things in the. And it's something they under yeah, it's something they understand. You know, like if you're just getting a graphics card for the first time, you won't really look at a clock speed or anything like that. You kind of just see, oh, VRAM bigger. I want that. And even then, clock speed is kind varies. of like yeah. the, it's the same as like a boost clock or base frequency and stuff on a processor, it doesn't always make a big difference. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's the generation and like the cache and the deeper specs that make a big difference. Oh, I ended up getting a 7600 XT for my sister for her birthday, just because I thought the 16 gigs of VRAM would feature for pretty well. The difference between then and 7600 isn't huge, but at least it'll, it won't run out of VRAM. You won't have to worry about that. That's true. I just wonder like how, like, I don't know, I just wonder, we'll, we'll figure it out, what games at 1080p, which that card is a 1440p entry level card, but mainly you'd be playing 1080p with it. What games at 1080p are gonna max out 16 gigs of VRAM on high settings? I don't know. I don't think there's anything that can. Oh no, oh Did I just no. do what I think oh, I did? Oh no, oh no, uh, you done did it. Buddy, call in the squad. Well here, go ahead and get that other part through just <laughs> before it gets any worse. Uh. This one seems like a, I'll say that, but it might not be an easy fix. Like it seems like it'd be easy. Like, like it's fairly new rubber, you know? Does this have a, do, do you need the second um, eight pin for the CPU? Uh, It has a four pin. I got it. Give me four. I don't know if I can get it through. Hold on, I think I can break these apart. This will make it a lot easier. All right, I have no clue which one it is, so I'm just gonna pass this one through and hope that it's it. Let's find out. 
Modded Skyrim max eight gigs in your 3070. Well, hey, let's let's be fair. <laughs> the um, the the 30 series was kind of weird. Like yeah. it, in the 20, I, I should say the 20 and 30 series, where it was like you kept going up major performance differences, but they just kept the VRAM the same across yeah. all of them. And if you're doing modded Skyrim, you're just a weirdo. Just kidding. Like McAllister. That was crazy though. It's like the 2060, you get six gigs of VRAM, and then you go yeah. all the way up to a 2080 Super, which was a huge difference. Eight. Eight <laughs> gigs of VRAM. That's it. And then 30 series, you had 12 gigs of VRAM for your entry card, and then eight, eight. What did it go eight to? Was it the, was it 3080 even eight gigs? 3080 was. Or did you have a choice? Uh, I thought it was 12. Didn't they have a 10 as well? Like 10 a, and a, a 12. 10 and 12. Yes. Yeah. So it was. It, you know they've they've done some weird stuff here and there with cards. Yep. Sometimes I just I, I don't I don't understand. Like I, I'm not big brain enough to get like if it's marketing or limitations or what. So is that the right uh, CPU? It was. Let's go. Oh. Um. It explores. I don't know if we'd ever. We might down, dive down like the Linux and stuff rabbit hole at some point in the future, but a long time. It's been a long time since we've done it. I've, I've never really even done it, and you're the one that was kind of messing with it. You want a Tesla P40? Well, if you can figure it out better than we did. <laughs> no, we still, no, I sent that card Yeah, we back. sent that back. Hey, we have a cooler if you, if you want one, if you want to buy it. <laughs> Give it to you really cheap. Because I don't really see us using it for anything else. It's like specifically designed for cards that don't have coolers on them. Part of me wonders, too, if um, it would have worked better on our new test bench because we, we had the same issue with seven thousand. We had the same issue with that thirty sixty M where I couldn't get the iGPU to work properly right. on the fifty six hundred G test bench. Maybe I'm not, it's, I don't know. It's not worth going down that rabbit hole. Yeah. Any. No. Is USB three over here? Uh, it is. Where is it? Over here. Yeah. You know, honestly, that that card was like annoying enough where I'm like. It reminds me of the time you were trying to do like the was it 1050 Ti and like SLI. Oh, that's what a lot of forum and I. I would rather stuff. wait until someone like basically does it for us, yeah. and then we can be like, all right, cool, we'll make a video on it. Um, this is a really bad right angle. <laughs> you need an adapter, probably. Where do they think this right angle is okay? <laughs> I wonder if if it's like if it makes any easier to like plug it in before you put the board in. I guess. Or if that makes no difference. It might. It's like, well, if I bend it, it hits this. Mm. So then I can't. Bendy. It's like a really ugly. Does this motherboard have four fan headers? I know there's actually like three up top, actually. Two or three. Oh, uh, one second. I'm... All right, now, see if you can pull kind of Houdini it. Okay, who do you need it? Yeah. That's okay. You need two cards to get it to work as needed. One for display and one for compute. You're talking about like the P40? I mean, is that's like, I, we had it working. Like, well, I say it's working. I had it to where two times. I got it to display in Windows, displaying, um, saying it was there. Like it was like, oh, Tesla P40, it's here. But I could not get Windows to override using the discrete graphics of a different card or the integrated graphics on the APU. Could you actually know how to do it? From what I was reading, a lot of people were saying you needed Windows 10 um, <coughs> developer edition um, to be able to like go into this command prompt and change a bunch of crap. And like I was trying to do it, but I just, it just wouldn't work for me. So eventually I got to the point where I just gave up because this is taking way too much brain power to try to figure out. Hashtag returned. It was definitely a cool theory and concept though, because yeah. like it was it was gonna be like pretty good performance for the price. And also 24 gigs of VRAM sounded insane for that price. Am I a psycho for planning an AM5 build with a 3060 Ti? Well it depends if you already have the 3060 Ti. There are better new cards, or if you're buying used and you got a good deal on one. Either way, no, I don't think so. Like a 7600 with a 3060 Ti would be fine. You get a really good upgrade path, good GPU to start. I don't think that's that weird. Now, if it's a 7950 XT, you're a little weird. That's a little weird. Okay. I just started watching last week. You're a JOD, thank you. Was it the giveaway stream? Is that what brought <laughs> you in? Be honest. Tell us the truth. Tell us the truth. I know Xenos' PC actually got shipped out yesterday. 
I, yeah, Zeno I said there. that it says it's going to arrive today, actually. Really? Yeah. Where does By he live? 7 p.m. Uh, I literally watched them ship I it out like at like I thought it was like up close by us. I don't want to say it's like <laughs> actual area. Up close. Up close. Like a few states up. Hmm. Or you can say what state you're in, Zeno, so I just don't want to... Yeah, in Ohio. I, I was I was gonna make the I was gonna make the joke, but I was like, well, maybe he's like worried about us. Would be like down in Ohio. Down in Ohio. Swag. Like Ohio was close enough where I could see that happening. Yeah. All right. Well, good job, UPS. I got a 7500F B650 motherboard and a 6600XE for 470 this week. Can't wait to build it. Do you think my 650? Oh, your 650 watts more than enough for that build. Oh yeah. Hashtag 7500F gang. We got that video going live on Monday. Which, by the way, unless... Ah, oh, Girthy, thank you for a gifted sub. I appreciate it. Oh. That is the only downside I noticed with this chat. Is oh, it, it doesn't, doesn't show, show subs. Well, at least they'll see it. They'll see it, yeah. This and and we got it over there. Yeah, we got the gifted sub over here. Sweet. Cool. I wonder, yeah, I'm trying to think for the... Well, for the giveaway stream, technically... Can't we can all just have Twitch chat open, yes. which will still act the yeah, same. Yeah, the giveaway stream, my OBS thing has like Twitch chat and everything built yeah. in, so I'll still be able to see it. And honestly, I don't see people do I don't think we even have it enabled yet for Toasty Clips, or you can do the like uh channel member or oh, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh by the way, guys, if you all could do me a favor, when you're watching a Toasty Bros video, and if you're not using ad block, thank you. Um, if you start getting some interesting ads, let me know. We just enabled a feature that um, the whole different ad formats, that the gambling ads and stuff. <laughs> alcohol. Alcohol and gambling ads. So um, I'm curious, if it becomes like you get some really obscure ads, let me know. Um, but we were just suggested by one of our reps to enable this feature because it just helps us earn a little bit more on ads. I, I'm assuming when they do ads like that, they're not super crazy. Yeah, so it, I've, I've seen gambling ads before. And just I'm be like, thinking it's just, just going to be like, yeah, casino ads or stuff like that. Bud Light. <laughs> Live life like a billionaire. Live life like a billionaire. Oh, oh, damn I think we already get those. Ooh. That's how you know we've made it. We're getting 10 Political ads. ads is not an option. I don't know. Does YouTube have that problem? I feel like I have not seen many political ads on YouTube. I think I have seen them on YouTube. I don't remember, but I feel like I have. Give, give, it, a, give it a month. I mean, it's, it's coming up. Oh, man. I'm not ready for it. Oh, oh God, buddy. Oh, God. Oh. Is it, like, impossible, you think? Ah. Uh... <laughs> Oh. It doesn't even look like what it would even fit without the fans. I don't know. Hmm. Chet. Chet, Chet we, help. Chet. It's this, help. Da, it's this damn case, man. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a small It's You know, this case is really designed for some good two fan cards. Well, what do we have? I, we have 6700 XTs that are big two fan ones. Yeah, we can do I'll that. Go, I'll go grab one and we'll see. Price slash. Price slash. Yeah, see what that looks like. Dribble! Unfortunately, th this does not look, um... Yeah, it doesn't look very promising. Unfortunately. I mean, it might without the front fan. It might. Well, I'll ask Jackson when he gets back in here. What he wants to do. It's very, it's close. <laughs> Why 70 time, yes. So it, I mean, it could fit without the fan or do we just go with a different graphics card? I, mean, I just think without the fan, it yeah, looks really stupid. Yeah, let's do a different graphics card. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I realized it for the fan, but I'm like, man, that would look so goofy, like, yeah. not having a fan in the middle. So now we've gone to 6700 XT, ladies and gentlemen. Yay. Oh, yeah, I like what, you know, we should just add a vertical mount. Ah, uh, yes. Gerthy said time to rebuild it in the height Y70. <laughs> All right, well, this will be for another PC Bros. Tech gaming PC. You have myself. 
a real good time. Want well, us to run a riser cable outside of the case? All right, bet. <laughs> Dirty South Playa. If you're wondering if this will be on YouTube, we're actually streaming to YouTube right now. <laughs> we can finally say yes. Toasty Clips, we're streaming to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. For all the new people who are here, by the way, head over to Toasty Clips and hit subscribe. If you guys want to watch on YouTube, you can. Uh, but yeah, we are streaming on Toasty Clips now. We're doing multi-streaming. This is not a video build though, by the way. Yeah. If that's what you're asking. This video, is not gonna be on the main channel. Are, they're, st they're still a thing from time to time, but yes. I'd say it's only like once every month. And also we're pretty caught up right now. So I don't, unless we have something that's pretty last minute, I don't see us doing one for a little bit. But things always change around here. You never know. Someone's gonna get sick. <laughs> Someone's gonna get down bad. I know um, Jonah won't be here Friday. Ah. Oh. He's going to get to Lindbergh. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Tell him he can't do that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he asked about that. I mean, it's been the t in the vacation thing for a while. I don't remember it, but you know what? I'll give him a little Hey, I don't ever that remember out. anything. I only know because he told me this morning. He's like, don't forget, I'm leaving tomorrow. <laughs> yes, Matt does get to remove more plastic, plastic on GPUs. You know, you say it's satisfying. There's a lot of cards where it's really not satisfying. It comes off in pieces. We do not have any Y70. So if you're looking for a Y70, buying one online would be the same price as if you bought it from us. We don't just keep them. Yeah, I don't think we've ever had a, y a Y70 so far. Nope. That's one of those cases where, you know, there's a few cases out there we haven't built in, especially when they're brand new on the market. It can be a little scary, you know, planning a build um, when it's not something that, like, you, you know well and that you've done <laughs> a lot of builds in. So, ah! we'll definitely do one soon, though. I really need to plan one for next time someone wants like a 4080 or 4090 build. That'd be sick. Because that's the big advantage you get <laughs> besides the screen is you do have more space for vertical mount. Yep. I wanted to buy from y'all. We'll see, Girthy. Really appreciate it. Did you end up doing, um, weren't you going to do a build for your kid or I don't remember what the other build was you wanted to do? That was a good, you wouldn't do one for his nephew, I remember Nephew, at one point. somebody. He's always wanting to do something. He can't sit still. What is each of your favorite PC case? Um, I got a lot of cases that I really like. It just, I almost have to like categorize them, you know? It, yeah, like, it depends on the price. Like I like a yeah. lot of budget ones for videos, ones I'd personally like for a case. I really like, I don't know if I'll ever do it because I say this and I don't use my build enough. If I ever <laughs> did a new build, I would do like a um, mini ITX Terra build. I love that Ooh. case. That case is so cool. He's, he's leaving the NZXT army. If I were to, but I just have such a love for my sticker bomb case. Yeah. And also, that's a whole new build. I need mini ITX power supply, <laughs> motherboard. I mean, it really, it would be, a, be just, it would a be a brand new build. new build at that point. And also, there'd be no point in doing it unless you're upgrading your 2080 as well. So yeah, yeah whole new build. Whole new computer. We'll take yours and trade in. That sounds Give good. Give me a good price. PCBros.tech. Just made a build with the Ryzen 7 with integrated graphics. Love it so far. Nice. What, what Ryzen 7 did you do? You did integrated graphics. 5700G. Yeah, I like the green one. That one's, it, it's fancy. The Jade, right? Jade. That was such an, uh, the thing is too, that case is so easy to build in once you know what you're doing. It is cool how everything comes yeah. off. You know, I don't, I'm just, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, I don't know if, out of all the mini text cases, I'm trying to think of what my favorite is. It definitely wouldn't be like the, the I, I'm starting to like all of them. It wouldn't be the NR200P, because mm -hmm. I still just don't love the inside Didn't you play of it. with that? I did, yeah. I yeah. mean, we've done a few of them now. You know, I, I know I've like, stopped. they've grown on me. Yeah. I know you guys were loving them for a while. I've stopped liking them, honestly. Really? Yeah. The Meshalicious, yeah, that one's cool. Um, I still, <laughs> this one's a really dumb one. It makes, it, it really doesn't make, I wish NZXT would come out with like an H2, where it's like, imagine that case, but with airflow. That'd be cool. I just, I'm a big fan of like, the mini ITX builds that are almost micro ATX because they're just, they're easy. You can actually make them look good on the inside. Um, we're kind of in an era where like mini ITX means the case looks cool. Nothing, you can't There's see There's no RGB. Else. It's just, yeah. you just look on the case. Like the whole idea is just very minimal. Which the I mean, that, the fractal's going through that era too with all the yeah. wood stuff. And yeah, that is true. Yeah. And, and I, I do like, I think, I think that those are cool cases. I don't know if I'd personally go to my way to build one, but I don't know. I like them. I really do like the Corsair 2000D. We built, um, that's the office one here, and then we did one recently uh, for a customer. 
Ooh, the Tower 100. That's another one that's I really like. One. But it's also big. Oh, wow. Wow. You do not need a 1400K girthy. <laughs> Listen to us when we tell you, you will be wasting your money. Yeah, it'd be a big waste of money. I really do think, now that I'm thinking about it, the Tower 100, I think, is one of my one of my more favorite yeah. Mini ITX cases because you can get them so custom. Yep. You can see inside of the thing completely. You can fit sleeve cables. You can fit an AIO. Uh, I like the colors they come in because you can get, like, different greens. They have the copper one. They have black, white, a few other ones that I can't even think of, the turquoise. Don't he does not need to switch to AM5 either. He has a 14700K, guys. Yeah, I know. That's Leave him be. No, Gertie, you were like, I, pro <laughs> I I know that you like to spend money and yes. you like retail therapy. I would spend your money on other things, like maybe upgrading your setup. I don't yes. even know what your setup is like, but like, I know Get a for, nice keyboard. I mean, Get a nice, nice keyboard, camera, Yeah. Um, like microphone. Like, I mean, I've watched your streams and they're good, but like, you're talking about upgrading something that will not it will not increase your stream or game quality barely at all. You're almost on like the top of the line. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, upgrading your background and, uh, you know, like, like uh, I got a video coming out. Is it Thursday? Tomorrow? Oh, wait, that's today? No, the 16th. Friday. the 16th? Friday. Friday. Video coming out tomorrow. Um, if you want to see like an example of, I really did not put much money into my PC. I put it all into the setup and it looks way different, you know? Sounds good, Uber. I'll put a pigeon sticker on my computer. Oh, why is this one not lighting up? Oh. Well, so much for my back panel. Your back panel is now ruined. Hmm, that's weird. Yeah, this is my, for those who are wondering, who hasn't seen the video, the video was a long time ago. This is what my build looks like at home. It's a modified H510 uh, Elite that I got a custom panel off of like Etsy basically. It was like a 3D printed like airflow filter to get rid of that front glass for airflow. And you did that like after, right? That was after, yes. And then this is the back of it with all the, the stickers. Sticker oh. bomb. I feel a McAllister near me. <laughs> I could feel him breathing I upon you. I feel him breathing. Does that say live, laugh, lobotomy? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> so where, where are these from again? Oh, that, that one's good. This one's, I love him. I, I love this little bear. Like is, is, that, is, that like, is that on all of them, the bear? Like, uh, is no, that they, their they thing? They have this little cartoon on a lot of them now. Mm. So that's why the bear seems similar. I like how he's like hairy and they like stubbly. They have one that's a bear looking in a mirror that says, I got a call, and it's just wearing sunglasses and nothing else. Like in the mirror, he's like, oh, seems like I got a call in thick today. And I'm like, I <laughs> really wanted that one too. You're calling thick today. You have a backdrop of your truck. Nice. Backdrop of your truck. What does the nut button do? Oh, you gotta find out. <laughs> you gotta find out. Oh, can we even see? It's on my desk. Yeah, I know where it is. Uh, like, can we see redemptions? It on? would be on the activity feed upright, mm. where, it's, where it says, "Oh, Piggy Tech did it a minute." So basically, ago. this will only show chat, like nothing yes, else. Okay. It only shows chat, which sucks. Good but... to know. Yeah, that's good to know. And, and then, how do you get that pop out? Is that from down that's there? That's from OBS. So when you open up OBS, it should open up. Oh, okay. And then it's from here. So basically, like these right here. These popped up as well, and they're like dockable where you hit this button and it comes off, so then you can just like move it. Right. And then I just left that one. So then in theory, what we could do is we could pop out our activity bar, um, oh, like that's here. True, right? And then do Oh, that. yeah. I guess that works. Uh, oh, God. I don't want, it doesn't need that big, but something like that. Yeah, it's really weird not seeing it. Well, we still see ourselves. I mean, what am yeah. I saying? There we are. We need, it's time for a third monitor, guys. <laughs> ah. And then at that point, we could have this one. And I think there's one for YouTube if we really wanted to have it. So we Wait, could see all the. We are multi streaming. Yep. It's multi stream! Hey, actually, it's working really well. It's actually working. It's on Toasty Clips, though, just so you know. It's not on main channel. That's what the nut button does. Yeah, the nut button, uh, you know. He did have to do it off camera for illegal purposes. It's true. <laughs> Is that what you guys really want to see? Honk this button. early in the morning? Where's the, the honk, honk button? button. Oh. McAllister. I don't know where the honk button is. That's not my job. That's this guy. I still like this. No tamper. You guys ready? It it's going to be loud. Close your ears. Oh, oh, it's, it's louder every time. It's one of those days. You know, the coffee all ready to go. Mm -hmm. What the heck is this? We're multi-streaming. Oh. Oh, my gosh. 
Let's freaking go. Everyone's on YouTube now? No. Uh, you'll see, you see like the little logo. There's not that, I mean, that we've only had like a couple people go over to YouTube and talk, but. <laughs> and they kind of just went over there. Yeah. But we are multi-streaming now to Toasty Clips. Sweet. You've been relieved of your uh, editing Toasty Clips duty. <laughs> yeah, it's. You still have bloopers though. Yeah. Bloopers is what you have to do. Welcome back, Zach. You feeling oh, better? I don't care about that. That's sick. Mm. No. This ID for only has each one. Black. I don't feel as bad as yep. her, but I'm just hoping yeah. I don't get the yeah. sickness. This was going to have a 7700 XT in it, but it was too big. What is that, 7600 or 6700 XT? 67, yep. Just yeah, 77 was a little too big. Yeah, it's really a COVID test and did a thing where like, it showed positive and it went to negative, so we don't know what she is. Oh. What? I'm, <laughs> I'm like, excuse Boy or me? Girl. My, I'm like, like get out of here. I can't believe you just made me drive. <laughs> <laughs> like, leave. He was sitting in the car. Oh, by the way, I have COVID. I cough a little bit first. <laughs> Dremel and violence. See, listen, guys, if you have a PC business, you don't have to do that. Ryan Green. Oh, my goodness, a YouTube chatter. Hello. <laughs> Dual stream. Oh, wow. I just love how we have, like, uh, profile pictures now. I don't know. I can see our avatars. That's pretty cool. The, I can see Pinky Tech now every time. You can on Twitch, too. That's cool. Yep. Good morning, Zenos. Onions? Yes, onions. Onions. They oh, this is midnight? Oh, it's midnight? Oh, well, I just said your full name. Shout out to midnight. Because <laughs> your YouTube has your full name. Congratulations. Dude, that, that, that's that's going to be the only confusing part. Is we're going to have to remember the same people have two different names. Oh, God, now Piggy Tech typing on YouTube. Y'all are crazy. Whoa. Watching both at the same time. He's just going back and forth. We have 122 viewers combined at the moment. We're, we're dual streaming and they're dual watching. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use YouTube. You don't use, use YouTube at all? Like, do you just follow us for the Twitch streams? Oh, look, there, there, there's Midnight. I mean, he even has a different profile picture. I'm never going to remember that's wow. the same person. Yeah, Piggy Tech at least has the same username on both. Because Piggy Tech is <laughs> an established content creator. That's how they can boost our views. If, if they can just open up on both. Ooh, double views instantly. I think it does count as both. Because yeah. it says we have 10 on YouTube and 119 on Twitch. Oh, yeah. Well, so we're at like almost 130 then. Yeah, I think on the chat it shows the one of combined. So we're at 129 right now. Very nice. Who is the on Sasha? I haven't seen that thing in forever. It might be in the Timu box, wherever that is. Oh, Zach, we will need that pink keyboard back today, by the way. Okay. We were messing with that other one. It seems like it's kind of worked itself out a little bit, the, the other one. So I just, like, hook it up and just see if you have any issues with it, maybe clean it out a little bit. But just give her another go. The beer has Give her vacated. one more chance. Spill another drink in it today. Okay. Te me. I, have, Te I scheduled me. that short, by the way. That was good. Okay, cool. Did Parsec work okay? At first, no. Uh-huh. Because, like... It doesn't understand the monitor layout. Did it so freak out to, with like the orientation? So though? I had to go in and I had to change my display <laughs> orientation three times. Mm -hmm. And then I finally got it to work. Okay. So it, hmm. and uh, like it'd be nicer to have it on my computer, but it also sucks because like in that video, for example, in that short, I pulled from two main channel videos. You wouldn't I have wouldn't access have known, to those. I wouldn't have known to do that unless I had done it beforehand. Yeah. So maybe you just need, I mean, you could always just use, because we do have one more of the um, licenses Impact. for uh, Film Impacts. Did Zach end up not having to use that one, Sheehy? So Remember right now, uh, we that one gives you three licenses. Uh -huh. So we have one on the render farm and one from Zach She Zach Sheehy's using that one for at he, home. He did find the same one. Because remember, he got logged out and was asking if he could have that last code. And I can't remember if he figured it out or... Ah, uh, I don't Because I think you said, we'll give you that code, but I was like, try to find the old one first. Why are you taking three licenses? That's, that's expensive. No, that's, yeah, that's expensive. <laughs> I was going to say, because I thought we had one more left so we could have that home. In worst case, you could use Parsec. I was going to say, Parsec to remote into the NAS and like Google Drive stuff. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking originally. I'm like, and then also like, how would I... Like, it'd just be weird. I'm like, how would I be able to get everything I need over to my main computer at home. Oh, yeah. I, I don't mean, know. I, I mean, I can always, like, like if, if we're talking, like, 
It just depends on how much you're actually going to do this. Like, I know you probably are do it pretty frequently at home, but yeah. if you're consistently going to do it, then it might be worth setting up your at-home setup. But if you feel like it's just going to be once in a blue moon, I feel like doing a short, I would just kind of deal with the pains of hard sag. It might be easier just to move your home setup here. Yeah, just move your home here. Like, this yeah. is your home now. This is your home yeah, now. I'll, I'll just stop looking for a house. <laughs> all right, Twitch and YouTube, uh, we're going to find somebody to raid. We'll take the projector room. Thank you all for watching. watching the movies and playing games on that thing at night. That'd be sick. Guys, let's all sleep at work, save on Misa rent. Misa can't find house. I mean, honestly, I, I, I think it's kind of dumb that that's, I feel like in some circumstances that should be allowed. You know, but what? most of the time they're really like, it, like legally you're not allowed to sleep at work. And I'm just like, why? You know, I mean, sometimes it'd be easier. <clears throat> sometimes you just gotta chase that bag, you know what I'm saying? On God. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the stream today. We still got some, I'm sure we still got some stuff to figure out with uh, multi-streaming, just optimization and stuff, figuring out uh, where certain things are. But I think we got most of everything figured out. We'll eventually, need, if more people end up using YouTube, we'll need to get a YouTube activity feed so we can see when people uh, do certain donations and whatnot on YouTube. I have no clue if it's gonna show that we're rating or not. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that. Let's see what happens. Because this chat over here does not show anything but chat. It doesn't have activities or anything like that. It's a good idea, Zenos. I might, I might just do that. It'd be, it'd be really cheap, I bet. Move into the loft in the warehouse. Uh, no. Nope. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying. I was like, there's, there's still well, some thing, things we got to figure out. Raiden Girthy. Raiden Girthy, guys. We'll see you all tomorrow.